We're here at Keystone Lanes in Norwalk for the title match of today's JVT event, the opening event of the 2013-14 SoCal Conference season. This is top seed Joe Grandin, who has gotten robbed so far in this title match, even though he's clean. He could have had a lot more strikes than he does on the screen, only one so far. And as a result of those robbed nine counts, he needs to spare up this 10 pin to trail by one through five frames, which she does. So good one here halfway through is neither bowler able to string on this challenging badger pattern, one of the new DBA animal patterns. 52 feet of oil. And that's in the middle of the lane. On the outside it feels like there's negative two feet of oil. So if you miss outside it hooks at your toes, but if you swing it to the outside it hits the 10 pin in the face. So both these bowlers, very high rev rate players, kind of doing that fade to the pocket, just like that. But you got to get those quarter pins out, and for that matter, the five and the eight pin out when you hit the pocket that way. So that's the challenge of Badger. Joe, your top seed after a 247 game eight to leap into that top seed only at plus 124. 120 up misses the top five on many days today. That was good enough to lead. Nicely done at the spare, so he'll trail by two. Duster strike working can increase his lead to 12. He was at or near the top of the leaderboard all day long. The quiet guy to my left who still has the playoff beard on led almost all day, won his last match and went from third to sixth or something like that. Second to sixth, that was a pretty bad break there too. Oh, and there's a pretty great break right there. That ball was way right, way early. It grabbed early but went across the lane and got the Brooklyn hit. Duster on fire in SoCal. He was your SoCal Invitational Champion last year. So essentially looking for back-to-back -back conference wins. Can extend to 22 if he can strike here in the seventh. He qualified in the number five position today and has run the ladder since then, beating Kennison Andrews, Zach Martinez, and Ben Canfield, shooting roughly 680 to do it for those three games. And he's dead locked in on that left hand lane. He's got that perfect, I guess, hook stop, more like roll stop, right at the one three, and he's just crunching him there with all that rotation. One, two, three, four, nine counts for Grandin so far, and the only thing besides that was a strike in the fourth and a four nine conversion in the second. So has yet to strike on this right hand lane. Better not wait too much longer to do so. Get that pin over, are you kidding me? My goodness. Can't throw it much better than that. Throws everything at the seven pin and it does not fall down. Duster sending tests in the middle of the title match. He'll go down the left side of the lane at the seven, hard and straight. No the way to do it on the sport patterns. Thanks as always to Keystone for hosting us. 13 people bowled today. More than that, felt like it. Come on out here, these are guaranteed prize funds. We gave away two Knox Berry Farm tickets. We gave away an Ebonite bowling ball. Good heavens. Joe only 15 years old, so uh, even though he can bowl on our tour up to age 22. Fifteen-year-old Joe going up against seventeen-year-old Kyle, and for a bowler of any age, I wouldn't blame them for frustration setting in right now. It's One fifty-seven. Your order is ready. Gets the light hit seven to not carry, and follows it up with a solid nine. That is ugly. Gotta not screw up. Gotta stay composed and make the spare. He's still got room for two fourteen. Duster only going at a two seventeen pace, so still in this game, but he could easily be well ahead in this match. Ouch. Yay bowling, kids. Stay hot. Stay hot, hashtag. See who wins in part two.